Hello everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will show you a free tool by using which you can get an FPS boost and fix most of the lags and stutters inside of every single game that you play regardless of your PC specifications. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And if this video helps you, then clicking that subscribe button would be highly appreciated as well. And without any further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. So the tool I'm talking about is this Windows 10 D bloat. However, it's not only just a deep bloater and we will get into it in a second and it's made by SYCNEX. I really don't know Richard Newton. I really don't know how to pronounce that but yeah, I will leave the link down below in the description and all you guys need to do is just go ahead and click on this code. Click on the download zip button. There's nothing else to do and once this pops up, just click on your desktop, hit save and it should download the deep bloater. Now you can go ahead and open it up using 7-zip FinRAR or whatever you want and just drag this folder out. Must you have done that go ahead and open up this folder and what we're going to be doing is running the windows 10 d bloat gui.ps1 as admin just make sure that it says administrator right here when you run it otherwise it won't work properly and just let it do its work it's going to go ahead create a system restore point and then launch the application another quick note that you can also go ahead and find other methods to use this tool by just reading this but I'm gonna go ahead and guide you step by step so you don't have to do that all. So once it opens up, it has a bunch of options, but I'm gonna be guiding you on which ones to use. The first one is removing all bloatware. This is going to go ahead and remove all of the bloatware apps that are installed with Windows updates or just Windows install in general. And it will remove all of those, which obviously is the best and the recommended option. However, for some of you guys, you might use some of these softwares. For example, the Snip and Sketch and other little softwares that you might wanna keep. So for those of you, you can go ahead and click on on the customized block list and once this opens up all you need to do is check the ones that you want to remove and uncheck those that you don't want to remove so for example if i go ahead and go down here and i for example let's say don't want to remove the get help all i need to do is uncheck it and now save the custom allow and block list once it is saved i can close out of this and now i can click on remove bloatware with the custom block list you can go back into it and customize it whenever you want however just keep in mind that once you remove something you are not able to get it back so yeah just go ahead and go through all of this list and check the things that you want to remove and keep those that you don't want to remove unchecked. It's really handy for those of you guys who want to use specific apps that come with Windows but want to remove majority of the features. Once you are done with removing all of the bloatware, I highly recommend you to go ahead and restart your PC before moving on. However, even if you don't restart, it will just go on as it is. And you can always restart at the end of the video. Then there is the revert registry changes which basically resets your registry back to default. Now, I would recommend this for those of you guys who have been applying a bunch of placebo registry files or just registry files off of internet without knowing what they actually do. However, when you use this option, just make sure to apply some of the better registry options that you have. You can check out a playlist of my videos that are recommended by me, especially the ones that I recommend for post installing Windows. I will leave the link in the description as well and up in the card. Uh, so yeah, just follow that one after clicking the revert registry changes. I'm not gonna go ahead and do it right now because I have my registry pretty good set up. Then there is the cut of course you want to go ahead and disable it the edge pdf it's really up to you but i would highly recommend disabling it because you always should uninstall edge and use a third party browser and when you open up edge for even pdf it just keeps on eating the resources in the background so i highly recommend you to disable this as well and then there is the dark theme obviously you want to enable it then there are some other changes and fixes such as uninstall onedrive unpin tiles from the start menu this is going to go ahead and unpin all of these which i mean it's really up to you you disable telemetry tasks you should be doing that and then there is the remove bloatware reg keys which is also going to go ahead and cause changes to the registry files so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and let it do its work so once all of those have been removed we can also go ahead and install dotnet v3.5 which i have already installed it so i'm not gonna go into that but you should install it which is required for certain features and games as well so yeah this is the basic utility that you can choose to optimize your windows and get the maximum out of it this is going to go ahead and make sure that the there are no bloatware registries and you can also go ahead and reset the registry to stock and then there are other functions like all of these which you can use so i highly recommend you to give it a go and also share this video with your friends so that they can benefit from this utility as well it's completely free and it only takes a couple of minutes to use so yeah in my opinion that's a win-win and that's basically it for this video i will see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome